Okay. Hey, welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, I have a little bit of a housekeeping note for those of you who are running into performance issues with On One Photo Raw. Now, if you find this video helpful at all throughout the duration, just smash that like button. What it does is it one, tells me that the content is valuable to you, but two, it helps YouTube figure out how to send this to other people so they can also find value. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to find ways of speeding up your on one photo raw. I've been testing this out for a little while and I guarantee you that this is going to help most of you out there uh, but you're going to need some hardware. First thing you're going to need is an SSD hard drive. An external SSD hard drive works perfectly fine, but we want to get off of your internal hard drive. All right. The second thing you're going to need is on one photo raw, and then you're going to come down to the bottom left hand corner and you're going to find the little person with the gear icon next to it. When you click on that, it is going to bring up your system preferences for this program. In the middle where it says system, we're going to go ahead and click there. This brings us to a really, really powerful and useful screen to update and speed up our workflow. All right. So at the top here, we have what your RAM will use, system usage and your virtual RAM. I move both of these down to about 50%. By default, on one photo raw wants to run 80% of your RAM. Now I do a lot of, uh, editing, heavy editing in on one photo raw. I have found that 50% of my RAM, which I have 32 gigabytes of DDR three RAM built into my machine, uh, which means that 50% is 16 gigabytes. If on one can't figure out how to work off of 16 gigabytes, uh, then, you know, maybe it's time to find a new software. Just kidding. The next thing is the scratch folder location. Now I currently have mine set to the default location. I've been testing between an SSD external, uh, as well as using the default location. Um, right now I'm finding that the default location is working a lot faster than the SSD. So I will recommend that you experiment with this. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the scratch folder, what this is, is a place to store temporary files while you are working on whatever file you have there. Okay. If you have it on an SSD in theory, it's supposed to work faster. Now I may have purchased a really cheap SSD and that's the reason why mine didn't work out so well. Uh, and I think that really on most computers, the internal hard drive is going to work the best. So again, experiment with this, but don't hold me accountable for uh, system performance or program performance if this doesn't work out for you. The next thing is the browse cache. Now, I used to have this also on the hard drive where I stored all of my images. What I did is I moved this to the SSD and I also left this at 5,000 megabytes for the browse cache. This gets emptied out every time you close on one photo raw. So if you are having slow performance in on one photo raw, what you're going to want to do is close out your, your, your program, close it, let it refresh that, that cache. And you're going to find, uh, almost a night and day difference in how fast photos load, how fast you can add on your effects, uh, do your local adjustments, your brushes and all that good stuff. I guarantee you this will help you. Now, the next thing is if you have a video card built in, what does you, what does you, wow. What do you want it to be able to do? Do you want the video strength, uh, to be all the way up? and tax your CPU and, uh, you know, your, or your GPU, however you want to look at it. Um, or do you want it lower where it doesn't render colors as perfect? Uh, I have found in, in, you know, my use right in the middle of the road works perfectly fine. As you can see, I have everything 
pretty much right in the middle of the road. And that's how I've been getting really good performance. Now, I have fast panning and fast preview enabled as well as GPU render. What both of these things do, fast panning and fast preview, as I'm making an edit, especially if I'm refining a mask, when I am refining the mask, it blurs out the rest of the image. So it's not using a whole lot of processing power to show me what I'm doing and I'm not seeing it in real time. Uh, and that's how I get the fast preview. Now the fast panning, if you are zoomed in on an image and you hold down the space bar and you slide across, you'll see that the image blurs out a little bit as well. That just helps with navigating around the photo. Uh, and that also helps with your video card rendering. I leave those two checked on and I leave GPU render checked on because this is a factory preset for anyone who has a GPU built into their computer. Um, I highly recommend that you use the GPU that's on your graphics card if there is one built in, right? It's just going to help with the processing of your image overall. And then last but not least, if you have Lightroom, like I do, uh, and you migrate the cache, then you can clear that cache. Uh, this is really, if you're constantly using it as a plugin, guess what? It caches all of that information somewhere. So if you are using all one photo raw, definitely dive into your system preferences, make note of where you were when you started. So you can tell if the things that you did in this window actually helped you out. So Again, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Here at Freewheel Photos, I generate new videos every single week that teach you how to use the creative software uh, to get your vision out and into the world. If that's something you're interested in, smash that subscribe button and please do not forget to hit the bell notification or click the icon. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.